shall see. Very well. It is begun. I shall do it. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. There may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise.
Very well. I shall do it. As you say. I shall do it. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the Ban, were you? To save us? A Grey Warden? Here! Thank the Maker for our luck! But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. 
She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it, well, we never came down here. Ever. I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. It shall be done. Sometimes silence is best.
very well. Never climbed a tree. Don't cats like to be in trees? Oh, look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. Uh... Hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father, and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? But Kitty wants it. Then you reject my proposal? No! Kitty! <coughs> you will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever! I shall do it.
go into the back. Right. Must have victory. Quick. 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 Don't give them the advantage! What happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? She's... dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Thank you for finding her, at least. I'm grateful. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now I guess I'll go. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical.
I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Not as much as it would think, there was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Oh, go on. It will be fun. And, uh, 
Nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Yes, very likely. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Yes, I'm just funny that way. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large.
good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about, then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Vashadan. Yes. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. It must be the vertical pattern it put them in. Did it know to do that? It must have. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. <sighs> Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, Master, I exist to serve the Master. I shall kill for the Master and only for the Master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks, if it likes. Mostly, they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like, or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? And now there shall be no more. Hmm. I suppose it is for the best. I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. Imagine the benefits. No need to eat or sleep or perform other... functions. Walk underwater, crush the heads of every opponent. The possibilities are limitless. Barring the occasional 30 years or so of paralysis, there's little to compare. Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. Something you need, my dear?
very well.
two still existed? Then it was no doubt for the best. With Caradin also goes any chance I might have had of finding answers on my past, I assume. Tell me, did it find out anything from Caradin? Anything at all about how I might have been made? Meaning that I was once a living creature? That seems highly unlikely and more than a little insulting. Is it certain? Hmm. Was I forced into this? Or simply glad to abandon a frail body? And more importantly, who was I? I simply must know. I cannot help but believe that answers lie elsewhere in the deep roads. We must look. Yes, no, I, I don't know. If it can search the deep roads, I may remember something. If not, then I will have to wait. Oh. It doesn't have better things to do. Oh yes, that I remember quite well. My former master, the Mage Wilhelm, he brought me. As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum, snarl at that villager there. Be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. <sighs> He did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife actually threatened to throw it in the lake. Ha! <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? Hmm. So long as it realizes that I'm inexpensive and not cheap. I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went? It is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. I'd have happily stomped them all into paste and then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. In fact, after 30 years of watching them, I'd do it twice. What I didn't like was being ordered to do it. Dangled in front of those frightened morons like some scary thing. Once I was a statue, it took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me urinated himself. <sighs> That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Pah! Plus, his wife didn't want me indoors. She said there wasn't room for me. Hag. Hmm. I was once larger, ten feet tall. Then the loathsome hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? And she still wanted me out. With a chisel. And a lot of nerve. Good. I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it?
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh, shiny. Oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. It's true. One single tear, and then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. <laughs> Ass chaps. <laughs> You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. I know, it seems almost irreverent to use her as a curative, and it is also a tiny bit morbid. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Why shouldn't I? I don't understand. Always see what you're asking. If the Maker has not truly abandoned us, why would Andraste need to intercede with the Maker on our behalf? I have never thought of this. I... I revere her because she's the Maker's divine bride. I do not have any other explanation. You are right. Our demon is running out of time as we speak. <laughs> Ass chaps. <laughs> What's on your mind? It is no trouble. What say you? Something you need, my dear. You called. As you wish.
If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yes. Yes. Indeed.
What can I do for you, Warden? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a... Our family's belief that we were wronged. You simply must let me make you that scale armor, friend. You must. You simply must let me make you that scale armor, friend. You m Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Of course. He's back, he's back. Have you reconsidered? I could make such fine armor with your scales. Cost. I should be paying you, friend, for the right. No, the privilege. Pay him? No, way, no. Uh, we'll charge you. I'll hear nothing of that, Heron. This is my shop, and working on Drake scales won't cost a bloody Elysian penny. It will take however long it takes. You don't rush a masterpiece, my good man. Yes, yes, that's right. It could take months, years even. You should just leave. It won't take that long, Heron. Unless... Unless I did some inlays of... Oh, I know. Yes, it wouldn't be complete without the, uh, inlays. Of course, the customer would have to agree. I'd stake my life on it, friend. Where is your humility when we really need it? Yes, like the customer said, very quick. We have other orders. They can wait. We're making art here. I was afraid you'd say that. Nice to be in civilization. You can't buy Orlesian silks anywhere in South Reach.
It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? Or perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? Much of the city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. Magic exists to serve man and never... Nice to see you again. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. If you are a charlatan, may the Maker have mercy upon you. There is avarice in your eyes, but I believe you. In a ruins, you say? I can give you five sovereigns. If these prove to be genuine, we can discuss more substantial payment afterwards. I need parchment, quill and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Maferath's final days, and perhaps more. I know. It's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand... Thousand blessings. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond.
It shall be done. So tell me, was the Tower of Magi everything you thought it would be? Abominations running rampant, Templars ready to slaughter every mage in sight. Yes, it rather met all my expectations. You don't think you might have been better off getting your training there, instead of whatever your mother taught you? You're right. My mother didn't nearly have as many abominations running about. That certainly would have improved my education. Hmm. I'll give you that one. I'm so relieved. There will be no new provings until the king announces it. Good work, Warden. You're amazingly skilled. Take the crown. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. I'm gonna take first in the inaugural glory proving.
it has become very close with the other Grey Warden. Uh, yes. I suppose I have at that. I find this difficult to comprehend. It is whiny and weak and constantly laughing. Then I guess a romance between you and I is completely out of the question. Hmm? And the attempts at humor, I cannot understand how it is endured. Well, maybe you should ask him why he likes me so much instead of bothering me with it. It has a loud mouth. Why its head has not been crushed already is hard to imagine. Or maybe you just happen to figure he likes me a lot more than you. Don't be foolish. Yes, I thought so. Just watch your step, or I'm totally telling. I'm going to stand over here now. So you met this sibling of yours? Half sister, but yes. I have. And you made a engaged. promise to help her. Uh, yes. Why would you do such a thing? This woman is a parasite who will appreciate nothing you do. You know this. It's moments like this when I truly appreciate the difference between you and me. <laughs> it is moments like this when I truly wonder at the difference between you and a toadstool. Have coins, strange? Fine weapon and arms, dwarven mate. Very well. I shall do it. Look there, a cunning trap. It is begun. Look there, a cunning trap. As you say.
very well. Very well. A device meant to hold a spirit, perhaps? Such would be my guess. Though, what might be left of any spirit within after such a long time trapped? It is warm. There is a soul within this stone. That much I can see. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You think it would be all dried up after so long? There must be magic involved.
As you say. Grey Warden, isn't it? Strange you would force such a visit in a time of blight. I suppose I am used to inspiring a different kind of seeker. <laughs> the adequate ones find the beacons, and then I find them. But you, you are already brighter than the signal at Ishal. Eyes are on you from a very high vantage, Grey Warden. I cannot hide in your wake, but I will not be a footnote. 
Witness Gats King. I shall do it. Direct me. Let's finish. Yes. Too easy. Have you no concern for your own? be done. Shall be given. Ah. It is begun. Away with you!
I see. I'm done So be it. As you wish. Let's end this quickly. Let's make this quick! Very well. Okay. Right. Next. Squish! One. Feel good. On it. I am overwhelmed. Let's have at it! Me.
Grey Warden, isn't it? I suppose I am used to inspire. Fine. I encourage fools to waste their lives in fantasy. Those adequate for my purposes find the gems, and then I find them. You are different. Eyes are on you from a very... Wait! I shall do it. I will not fail! Bloodshed!
take that! It's your time to die! You... You cannot win! Go down! As you wish. Finally, we get to the uh. part. I see. Uh. Let's get on with it. Good ruling and save some you dignity. It will hurt. Feel. I Time won't well,
trap as you say very well it shall be done very well I shall do it It is begun. Pigeon crap. Yes. Back off! I was here first. Why, you looking to buy one? Oh, is he? Uh, well, that's. Uh, see, I'd like to sell you one, but I don't uh, have any myself. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he'd found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. No, no, that's some freeholder or other. He just sold me the looting rights. I'm not building a house here or nothing. He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah.
So, uh, you're back, I see. What can I do for you? Can... can what? I'm sorry, I, uh, I don't know what that... Where is my sword? I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. A dwarf near Redcliffe. Dwin, I think his name was. He's the one who has the sword, I promise you. Said he was a collector. We'll see. I've told you what I can, I swear to you. Oh, uh, certainly. Vashadan. Yes. Oh, blast it. Indeed. It is begun. I shall do it. It shall be done.
Here I am. Right away. It is begun. You called. As you wish. Are you here? Excuse me? Obviously you are no priestess, but shouldn't you be running a shop or a farm somewhere rather than fighting? You think to tell me my place, Kunari? You are very brave. It is not done. But it is done. Do not be such a blind fool. I speak the truth. It is not I who is blind. Look around you then. You see women throughout this land, fighters and majors both. That has yet to be proven. Which? That they fight? Or that they are female? Either. So I am not truly a woman to you, hmm? It is good to know. Yes? You're welcome here, friend. What can I do? You're welcome to what... Very well. As you say. If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? Right then. Should we be... Wait, someone's listening. You sure? I'm nervous as a cat in a kennel. We're asking for trouble. Quiet. We haven't done anything yet. Best be careful. Darkspawn are coming. 
Wespy. Ah, oh, don't mind us. Just talk, that's all. Very well. Shall be done. <laughs> I'll do it. Yes. do to deserve this It is begun. The Irregulars thank you. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. I would thank you for this, if I knew how. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended, don't you agree? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. Indeed, it isn't every Grey Warden who has his own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. I have been mistaken. You are a soldier worthy to stand among the Beresad. I did not think so when we first met. You did, of course. The day will come when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. In time. There is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. 
I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Of course. Yes. 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 Enemies approaching! I shall do it. So, you know that I'm a Templar, right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. You were trained as one before you became a Grey Warden. That's right, but I still have all the abilities of one, of course. That doesn't make you nervous. Should it? I am no apostate. Perhaps you should be directing this question at Morrigan. She claims not to be afraid of me, or anything, really. But you've had more experience with the Templars than her. I know how mages can sometimes... The Templars serve a function, and a necessary one. 
If what has happened at the tower proves anything, it is that we mages can be dangerous, even to ourselves. That's one way of looking at it. And regardless, you seem like a decent enough young man. If you decide to slaughter me out of hand, I'm sure you would at least inform me first, no? Oh, sure. Count on it. One of our own Dalish has saved us from the ravages of the curse after all. May the creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us after all these centuries. He died heroically, I hope. Some things are better left unsaid, I gather. His will still be a tale worthy of telling Dalish children for many years to come. And now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I, for one, look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? And Dara Natishan, Grey Warden. Join us at the fire if you like, but haven't you got a war to get to? I... I appreciate you trying to find him, but what are the chances? Anaren the healer? You know Anaren? He... he lives? No, it can't be him. Perhaps it is a common elven name. No, I know of only one Anaren. Ah, it makes sense. Aniran said that he was from the human cities. You are old friends, then. If you seek Aniran, you must venture into the forest. He prefers to be amidst the trees and the animals. Thank you all so much. I know a few tales. Our clan has passed this way many times before, even when the Shemlin lived in these parts. You wish? I can tell you what I know. It is not a long story. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell. Shemlin and elves both. So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here, in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy.
friends, turn back, please. These woods are a danger to those who do not know the paths. A Naren? Wait, I... I remember your face. But younger, more impulsive, stern. Win? I thought they had killed you. They very nearly did. The Templars found me while I was searching for the Dalish. They ran me through and left me for dead. I brought this on you. Oh, I was a dreadful mentor, harsh and impatient. I, I am sorry for the way I treated you. I've put that behind me, and you should too. I didn't fit in with the Templars in your Chantry. My path lay elsewhere. Irving is a reasonable man. He will find some way for you to return. The Circle needs new blood. It needs to change. I have fond memories of Irving. He was always kind to me. I will consider your proposal, and perhaps I will speak with Irving. However, I promise nothing. Now, it is getting late and you have much to do. You should be on your way. No, we've spent enough time on my personal affairs. It is time for us to move on. Look at this. It's the hardened sap of a tree native to this forest. It's been something of a lucky charm for me, and now I want you to have it. Very well. I'm grateful. May your gods smile on you and Aaron. And on you. What's on your mind? It is no trouble. The Darkspawn have sensed us! Ah! 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 
It shall be done. Thank you so much. Yes, you led me to an errand. You persisted, even though I was sure all you were going to find was a dead end. I will never be able to repay you for what you've done for me. Finding an errand allowed me to bring that chapter of my life to a close. I feel free. A great weight has been lifted off my heart. This moment, it feels like the moment before the sunrise, when all the world is still, holding its breath, waiting for first light. I can stop thinking about my past and look forward to the future. Thank you, my friend. You will always have my gratitude.
yes. 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 I have never heard of a thing called a Kunari. Then you have not been listening. You did not row to shore last year. We have been about for centuries. I have listened. I have done little else, in fact. And yet I do not remember anyone mentioning such a Kunari in all my years in the village. Relying on humans as a source of education is a fool's errand. They are rather ignorant, aren't they? And feeble, at the best of times. We have creatures on Parvolan that are similar. The humans call them monkeys. They are dull, cowardly vermin. They cry out shrilly when threatened and throw their own feces. That is an excellent comparison. I wonder if they're related. Possibly. shall see me. Silence is best. I shall do it. This place is familiar. I am not certain. There is a place, a cavern that is not far from here. I know where it is. I remember. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious as to what we will find.
I shall do it.
It shall be done. Oh. Yes, its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. I shall do so. As you say. This is it. Kadash Taig. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Was this the home once? Did I live here? I've 
defeat. Very well.
As you say. I see nothing. Whatever was once here is gone. Quickly, we must fight! your wish, Kadan. As you wish. It shall be done. Very well. It is begun. Shall be done. Look there, a cunning trap. I shall do it. Silence is best.
manner of beast is this? Now we I shall do it. I'll be done. shall see me. Crawling with filth. Typical. For the fool thing! I shall do it.
you say. It is begun. I shall do it. I'm uncertain what I hope to find here.
your orders? As you say. Yes. Run. Run in I shall do so. Names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became golems. And there is my name, Shale of House Kadash. I recognize it. I was not created as I am now. I was once a creature of living flesh, a dwarf and a woman. This is a revelation. It is one thing to believe, however, and another to know. I will need to think on these things I have learned. Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I have decided that it is not much like any of them. Oh, it's not just that. Well, I'm sure that's part of it, but it's not only that. Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? Then that must be it. The humans have always spoken about elves being inferior. But obviously, this is their own stupidity talking. 
I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. Indeed. Can it imagine the horror? Oh. Now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. It shall be done. As you say. Very well. I shall do it. It shall be done. As you say. It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. That part I know, as Wilhelm often bragged about it to whomever was willing to listen to him. He claimed to have found me in the deep roads. I was in the ruins of a tig, he said, deactivated, with my control rod not far away. I think I remember a battle. It was long before, and then there was darkness. Bah, in short, no, I do not remember why I was there. It makes no difference. It was a hobby of his, scavenging. One of the reasons he traveled so much is that he was looking for entrances into the deep roads, old places the dwarves had long forgotten. And then he would sneak down and search for magical treasure before anyone was the wiser. Indeed. He had spells that allowed him to remain hidden and move quickly, but he had no defense against the Blight and worried constantly that he would get sick. 
If any Darkspawn showed themselves, he fled. More often, he would have to fight other scavengers, dwarfs who had become tainted. In the end, it killed him. I mean, he found me there, right? <laughs> I wouldn't have had to put up with the twit, and I would be none the wiser. I don't think I was aware while I was there. Not like in the village. Or perhaps I was. Perhaps that was the dark place, and I simply couldn't see anything. How long could even I sit in the darkness and stare out at nothing, never sleeping? <gasps> oh, I do not wish to think of that. No, that secretive bastard refused to tell me. I would ask and ask, but no. He used to say that one day, if I were compliant and didn't talk back at his wife, he would take me there and I could look around myself. Rotten, lying bastard. If I had his head in my hands now, I would squeeze it like a giant lemon. Squish. On, then. It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. I do not sleep, so yes, and I thank it for reminding me. Try to imagine, if it will, what it would be like to be surrounded by nothing but boring peasants, all oblivious to it. Oh, yes. It certainly was the height of intrigue to listen to the accounts of how young Dornan had scandalized the village by his purchase of an Orlesian hat, and the argument that those two muddy farmers had over the price of barley for a whole summer, riveting. And then there were the birds. A whole village full of pigeons and ravens and sparrows all perching on me day in and day out. Those foolish villagers would spread bird seed near me, drawing the birds, because they thought having birds perch on me was quaint. Quaint! If there hadn't been the occasional kind soul to scour me clean, I would... Ugh, I would... I don't care to discuss this anymore. It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. That is true. I do not. I'm not interested in getting into a discussion on the subject, however. Ask another time. If it is done asking overly obvious questions, let us find some humans to throw off a cliff, or something. It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? Good for it. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. Good. Let us leave it at that. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes?
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Enchantment? Enchantment! You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods, my... I got a moment, <laughs> sure. What about? All right. Aye, all right then. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. I shall do it. It's done. As you say. Yes, my friend? I shall do it. You return. Might you have news? What of him? He awaits my brother's decision on his fate. Then I must resume my duties. The good luck. You return. Might you have news? You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation.
Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Loghain will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him? Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. 
Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude, that everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strange. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates? while a Blight claws at our land. The Blight is why I'm here. With Kaelin dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? 
Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you play the nursemaid to, not wild elves. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Maker knows. Perhaps he's gone mad. I would have imagined pigs would fly before Loghain McTeer would turn against our king. Calling the landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then.
It shall be done. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is full of guests. And dress day preservers, this will be the death of me. is best. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Its journeys are fascinating. I had thought its chances slim. But perhaps I'm even wrong on that point. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. Refreshing. Normally such words would be accompanied by the wave of a control rod. I shall remain as it asks. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Redcliffe servants are intolerable. I don't care if their household is ten times the size of ours. They're visitors here. They show some manners. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Sometimes silence is best. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Is it true there's a prince among the Arles visitors? None of them looked all that princely to me. shall see me. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? It is no trouble. <clears throat> I got a moment. Hey, sure. Aye, all right then. any more spice.
I'd better not catch you trying to fall down the rest again, Alana. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. Not talk now, It'll sir. be served when it's Mistress done, Agatha and that's bad. Now, I'll show you out in the pot if they just get to it. Sometimes silence is best. I'd better not see one speck of black on those loads. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. You shall see me. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await your command. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? As you wish. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She's in... a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denon is only a matter of courtesy. 
and she demands answers. Things no decent person would repeat. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Silence is best. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. Such as they are. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. Something you need, my dear. Well, we're not exactly alone. What did you have in mind? Oh, oh, but what about our audience? You don't think... Oh, never mind. One public display of affection coming up. I'm glad you decided to help. With the Nora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. She and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was a smart child, knew how to listen, and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it would be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the Landsmeet. No more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Loghain. And given your reputation, Warden, I think Loghain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you could disrupt them. 
She's obviously more than a maidservant, but I imagine it's useful for Anora to have a trusted attendant who can move more freely than she herself. And consider what aid she and the Queen might be to us. If Anora has truly turned against her father, she becomes the one thing we lack. Someone with a true understanding of Loghain's plans and allies. With her guidance, we can form a far more successful strategy against him. As you like. My palace is your palace. Very well. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Shall see. Why are you smiling like that? You look suspiciously like the cat that swallowed the pigeon. Canary. What? I look like the cat that swallowed the canary. I once had a very large cat, but not my point. My point is, why are you smirking? <laughs> you were watching him with great interest, I might add. In fact, I believe you were enraptured. He's our leader. I looked at him for guidance. Oh, I see. So what guidance did you find in those hips? Hmm? No, no, no. I wasn't looking at, you know, his hind quarter. Certainly. I gazed, glanced in that direction, maybe. But I wasn't staring. Or really seeing anything, even. Of course. I hate you. You're a bad person.
Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. You're back. You need something? Oh, yes, yes. Look over here. So nice to be in civilization. You can't buy Orlesian silk anywhere in Fort Beach. All men are the work of our maker's hands. From the those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. Those who bring hands. Does not bread sinners. Oh, would you stop correcting me? I know the chance. I... Good to see you, Warden. Fight in the good fight, eh? I have one last job. A legendary one. Oh, a paltry ten sovereigns is my take. Ban Frandarel is one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. At his grand ball next week, he's displaying some of his priceless treasures. Paintings of old masters, the armaments of the first king of Denerim, and more. Oh, more. Mages have put up magical wards, but I've got a route that will bypass that. Once inside, I've no idea how you'll deal with the guards, but if you do, you'll be rich and infamous. I can't wait to see what people say. Did you hear? Androste's ashes have been found. Fearing for Odin, too. The alienage is closed. I shall do Be it. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. <laughs> Those ashes are so old, they...
And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Hmm. Then I shall need to seek him out once we are done. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Oh, does Zevra need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. Yes. Yes. It is. Talison is dead. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Mm, all right. You make a convincing argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? Your wish? It is begun.
As you say. It shall be done. Woof! <laughs> 